Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to go live on YouTube using the Panasonic GH5 Mark II mirrorless camera. It has direct live streaming functionality built directly into it. A little while ago, I did a full deep dive tutorial and walkthrough on the Panasonic GH5 without doing the live streaming section. So I said on that video, I'd follow it up in a separate video. And that's what this video is. If you want a full deep dive guide on the Panasonic GH5 Mark II, I'll link it up in the cards and you can check it out after this video. This video will focus on how to live stream on YouTube only. There's plenty of Facebook tutorials already available on other YouTube channels and I'll link a few of them down in the description in case you were looking for a Facebook tutorial. Now being that I'm a YouTuber and that's kind of what I do, I've got a number of different YouTube channels, having this kind of functionality built directly into a camera is fantastic. It allows you to capture the moment wherever you are in high quality, providing you've got great internet access. Setting it up can be a little bit complicated, so I'm gonna break this down in the easiest way possible, but just know once you've got it set up, you don't have to do it again. I've just wiped all of the network settings off my camera and I've just reinstalled the app from scratch. So what you'll see on screen is if you've just opened up the app for the first time. If you're greeted with any prompts to allow access, just click allow and you'll be good to go. The first thing we need to do after we've installed the app is to go to the camera and turn Bluetooth on. To get to the Bluetooth options, hit the menu set button on the back of the camera. You'll see the wrench icon. You can scroll down or up to it depending on where you are in the menu system. Go over to this one that looks like a Wi-Fi icon. It's the in-out one. Then we can go over to Bluetooth, click it to set. This is what we need to do. We're not just on, but we wanna to go to set. And we wanna to go to the pairing option. Now you'll see this screen come up. This will allow us to sync the phone to the camera via Bluetooth. So hit on agree and all of the yes options on the app. Now this gives us a bit of a guide on how to do this and it just shows you exactly what we've just done. So I'm gonna click next. And there it is, camera detected, GH5 Mark II. This can take a few minutes the first time it's pairing, so just be patient. You'll be presented with this screen. It will say, do you wish to join? Click join. Or tap. I'm old school, I always say click. <laughs> and it worked. So if you see this on screen, you're in business. Up next, we need to connect the camera to the Wi-Fi network. And being that I got a home Wi-Fi network, that's what I'll be connecting it to for this example. If you're connecting to a hotspot or something on another device, you'll choose that in this particular option menu. If we click the menu set option again, we go to streaming, we go to streaming setup, we go to Wi-Fi connection setting down the bottom, we go to new connection, and we go to from list. Now you can choose to use a couple of different connection methods, but this has worked the easiest for me at the expense of having to type your password in, but it works really well. So my Wi-Fi network has come up here please enter the encryption key. So this is your Wi-Fi password. And you can see we get a touch screen here. Just a heads up, if you wanna cycle through capital letters and numbers, use this option on the right over here, the capital A and little a, and it will cycle you through each of the options. I'm just gonna type this in over here because it's a whole lot easier. Once you have the password typed in, click on set. And if it works correctly, you'll see it, it will connect automatically. All right, connection successful. We are good to go. At this part of the process, exit the app and reopen it and it will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's pretty cool how it all works, just give it a few moments. The last piece of the puzzle you need to get streaming is very simple. We go to others, we go to live streaming and we select stream with RTMP, RTMPS. This will store the information that we're about to add into the phone when we do this last step. And as you can see on screen on the app, it says the Wi-Fi connection is the final countdown, which is my Wi-Fi name. I don't know why. I think I must've heard that song on the day. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to get the stream key and stream URL into the app. So go to your YouTube channel and on the top right next to where your avatar is, you can click on the create option and go to go live. Down the bottom here is where it says stream key, paste in encoder. If you wanna see the stream key, you can hit that eyeball and it will show you the actual stream key. Copy this and copy the stream URL into a notepad file or email and send it to yourself and then pick it up from your phone as this will be what you need to input into the app. And I've already copied that across, so I'll do that right now. Once you've got both fields filled in, click finish or tap. <laughs> 
Now you can also change the streaming quality via the app here or via the camera. It's up to you which way you wanna do it and it will highly depend on your type of network connectivity. But for me, I like to use this one right here, 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second at six megabits per second. Once you paste in both fields, click finish and then click set to the camera. Make sure your camera hasn't gone into standby mode either or this section won't work. What I like to do at this point is get back to the computer here and click on edit when it comes to the title and information and call this whatever we like. Panasonic GH5 2 live stream test and copy that paste it down here. So whatever information we have in this detail section will be what the live stream is called. Test this as an unlisted video first and you can of course change all the privacy settings by using the actual computer here. You can see I've got it set to unlisted as its privacy. I like to do it this way. So when it comes down to it, all we need to do now to get live streaming is to click on start streaming and you'll see the blue ring come up on the camera. That means that it's working. We can stop it just by hitting our phone and we're good to go. Say for example, you don't wanna use the phone again, you don't have to. I'm gonna show you how to do that now just by using the camera. I've taken the lens cap off so it looks a little nicer. So we go to the menu set option here, go to streaming. We can go to the streaming setup. Now we can change the quality here. I'm just gonna put it onto this one for the sake of the video, based on my internet speed and all that kind of stuff. We don't have to worry about anything else. So we go back, as long as the streaming function is set to on, we can go live just by hitting the shutter button, which is pretty wild. So I'm just gonna do a quick live stream here of my camera setup so you can see what's going on. Now, if I hit the shutter button, watch what happens. We are now streaming. You can see the blue ring around the side here, which means we are good to go. I love having the recording and streaming ring on these cameras. It's an awesome upgrade. Now, if we take a look at the computer over here, you'll also see that we'll be live streaming and that's the preview window which is lower resolution but I'm streaming in full HD right now which is fantastic so you've got all the options of the camera at your disposal you can set it to continuous face detection autofocus and so forth and use this in a number of different situations outside of the house I think this is really great please let me know if you plan on using the live streaming feature within the GH5 Mark II if this video has been helpful please leave a thumbs up, I appreciate that. Again, I'll leave links to other tutorials in the description below so you can check them out. But overall, man, what a great compact way of getting great video quality instead of having to use your phone. Just with the camera that's built into that, you can get a number of different lenses, interchangeable lens, live streaming solution. It's pretty wild. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.